Let's see how tough this export really is. Are you ready for some 8K 360 degree action? Because it's here. This is the Insta360 X4. And in this video, we're gonna go through the exciting new features and upgrades that this powerful action camera has to offer. Let's go. Come on. Oh, let's go. Let's see, what do you have in the box? You got the Insta360 X4 and the battery. You also have standard lens guards now. The lens guards come with it and they're removable as well. You have the Type-C to C cable, protective pouch, lens cloth, quick start guide, and warranty card, and some stickers. Do you understand how the Insta360 works? You don't? Let me show you. There's a camera on the front, there's a camera on the back. They both shoot 180, get stitched together to form a 360 degree bubble or sphere around the camera. So you're always filming everything all the time. And then later in post, you go through, you reframe, you edit, you export it, and then boom, you have so many angles from the one mounting position. So good. The max that these have been able to shoot up to is 5.7K at 30 frames a second. Well, now this thing shoots at 8K 30 frames a second, 5.7K 60 frames a second, 4K 100 frames a second, and it shoots me mode at 120 frames a second in 2.7K. That's not bad for a 360 camera. When shooting 8K 30 frames a second, you have 78% more pixels than you would if you shot in 5.7K 30 frames a second, which is what the X3 is to shoot at. What does this mean? More detail. 8K gives us such nice clarity from a 360 camera. There's also a double in bitrate, which helps maintain high resolution and quality. 5.7K at 60 frames now means that you can reframe your slow motion footage. We never used to be able to do this before. Now we can. The single lens mode has now also been upgraded to 4K 60 frames a second, where it can double as a wide angle camera by filming with just one of the lenses. For an ultra wide 170 degree field of view, shoot in single lens mode, select the free frame video option and select the max field of view. You can set it to nine by 16 or 16 by nine and you can have a ball with it on socials. You have the option to use horizon lock. I find that turning it off gives you a better lean sensation, but some of us like to have it just locked on and have the bike moving around underneath us. Mega view is a new field of view option in the app or the desktop studio, which has less distortions at the edges and overall a better image quality. Try these in different aspect ratios as well. The X4 shares some of the features that the Ace Pro has to offer, such as gesture control, all you need to do is put your hand in front of your face like this and it'll start recording. And then to stop. How good. This gesture control thing works amazingly. Even with my goggles on, I'm gonna put my goggles on and I'm just gonna put my hand in front of my face. That's rolling. How good is that? I'm gonna do it again. And it stopped. That means while you're on the road, you don't have to worry about uh, doing those ones. Check this out. It's rolling, baby. And because it does it in a 360 degree bubble, it means that no matter where you put the action camera, it's still gonna do it. Isn't that cool? That's cool, come on, that's cool. Like the Ace Pro, it's now compatible with your Cardo headset. If you'd like a tutorial on how to connect it, I have one right here, go check it out after this video, of course, not right now. And by the way, they are developing mesh communications function. That means that they can record the entire conversation through all the writers on the one device. It is in the works, yet to be released, but it's, it's happened. The X4 also now connects to the GPS preview remote, the GPS remote, and also pairs with the Garmin app for all your GPS overlay goodness. If you'd like a tutorial on all these, I have another one right here. 67% longer runtime with its 2,290 milliamp hour battery. Shooting at 5.7K 30 frames a second, you will get 135 minute runtime, which is insane. Shooting at 8K 30 frames a second will give you a runtime of 75 minutes, which is much like what the X3 used to give you shooting at 5.7K 30 frames a second. The X4 can now be used as a power bank. You just plug in your USB-C cable into the X4 and then charge, which is super handy. If you end up just being stuck in the middle of nowhere for whatever reason and your phone's dead, if any other action cameras have died, you can now use this to charge it. You can also set what charge you want it to stop at so you can still record your ride on the way home how you got out of the mess. Really clever idea. And don't forget to turn your screen off if you want to save more of that battery power, baby. You don't really need it on for that long. When it starts recording, 
you don't, you don't care about it. You, you're going on your ride, man. So who cares? The screen can turn off. It saves you juice. It's waterproof up to 10 meters or 33 feet for all you adventure riders. Don't worry if you drop your bike in a river. It'll record it all and you'll have a story to tell. Another cool little feature that they have implemented is the option to customize your buttons. See this button here? Yeah, I don't know. I don't really use that button ever. So I've now changed it to the shutter button. So when the camera is facing the opposite way, I've got no idea which one the record button is. Now I know I can just hit any of them. That one, yeah, cool. And then, yeah, this one to stop. You can make them do whatever you want. And same as the quick button as well on the side. Change it, customize your buttons. So I understand that editing 360 footage can be pretty tedious for some. Insta360 have taken this into consideration and they have redeveloped, redeveloped, <laughs> and they've redeveloped the software and the app. Let's take a quick look at this. All right, there we go. So you have pro, you have quick, and you have AI. There's three different options at the top. They're your different editing options now. So pro is the old school way where you choose your keyframe and you mark them all in and then you change each one. It's it's pretty long, it's a little bit tedious. Um, that's the way I edit in the studio out there. Now we have AI. If you use AI, you just tap that button and it'll create a short film, a little short video. It'll add music, it'll reframe, it'll do all that sort of stuff. So you can just hit that one button and it exports and you're good to go. But now they have the quick option. This option is very, very useful. And I think it's I think it's the best way for like a, a user-friendly, cool editing experience that you have control of. That's not so tedious. It's actually pretty enjoyable. So as you can see, while I'm moving my phone right now, it's all moving on the screen. Um, and this sort of records all that data into the video. Okay, you're just gonna hit that record button. And right now it's like we're filming. We, we are the director right now. And as I move the camera, that data gets recorded and is what is gonna be exported at the end of the video. You can hit the little magnifying glass there. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. And this is all being recorded by the way. So that's a really cool way to do things. Now, if this is a bit weird for you, if you wanna do this out in public, maybe the airport, it's probably not a good idea to be doing this, you know, cause it's, uh, it's probably a little bit creepy. <laughs> you can just use this little joystick that's in the middle. Now I can just turn it, tilt, and do anything, do anything I want. Full 360, woohoo! Go up there, go down like this. Yeah, we can do, we can do a lot of things. Um, there's also that 360 degree button that you can just press and it does an automatic 360 degree view. How good is that? Hit stop, that saves the video. Go into that, this is the crazy part. You hit the tick, you get export, export to phone album, boom! It's in there instantly. So the app software has been upgraded to be able to handle that 8K footage and process it nice and fast and transfer it. And I don't even know how the hell that does it, man. That, it's just, it's seamless. You don't even think that it's downloaded or anything like that. It's just in your phone, boom. It's awesome. You can also get some cinematic shots without using an ND filter, thanks to Motion ND. Give it a try. It just gives you a nice bit of motion blur, makes it look like you, you just give it a crack. So along with the crazy amounts of software upgrades, the X4 has had hardware upgrades as well, not just internally, but also externally. The screen size is upgraded from 2.29 inches to 2.5 inches, which makes it easier to control the camera, select shooting modes, change settings, all that sort of stuff. And it's made from Corning Gorilla Glass for improved toughness, which means you can use it more like an action camera and not be fearful that you're gonna destroy it much like my old X3 here. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the X4 now has removable lens guards, which is so handy. And the plastic ones do come with, with your purchase in the box. They do have premium ones available now, which are a scratch resistant tempered glass, which are highly transparent to help give you the best quality possible. Now this is all great on paper, but I had to put this to the test. Let's go and chuck it off my motorbike while we're at speed. Alrighty, the durability test. Let's see how tough this X4 really is. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh, the battery came out a little bit. Big chunk from the top, but everything else is fine. Let's see if it works, moment of truth. Yeah, of course it works. She works. Still records, it's all working, it's all good. Now those conditions were quite similar to how the X3 came off my bike. I dropped it off my bike twice because I wasn't satisfied with the results because it just didn't do much to it. You know, a bit of cosmetic damage on the corners there, but that's it. So that's really nice to know. We can start putting these in some pretty interesting places and not be too terrified of demolishing the whole camera. Robust is good. 
That sun is going down, baby. Is that better? That's better. It's pretty bright. Ah, well. The X4 comes in at USD 499.99 and the X3 comes in at 399.99 US. If this video helped you in any way, please feel free to use the affiliate link in the description below. We we'll receive a small kickback at no extra cost to you guys and it's just showing support. It supports me and I really, really appreciate it. So, is it worth the upgrade? If you are new to the Insta360 world, you're not too sure how it works, you've got a bit of a learning curve to go, you probably don't need to invest so heavily into a 360 action camera. I'd say go with the X3. It's a great starting base, still creates amazing content, socials, YouTube, whatever you want to do. However, if you're well versed with the X2 or X3 and you want to take it up a notch to that pro level, you will not be disappointed. The X4 takes what has already been an essential tool for creating videos while I'm on the road. Only now, that tool has been upgraded in every way. So yes, I will absolutely be using this as my new 360 action camera moving forward. Will you? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much Insta360 for sponsoring this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.